Okay, okay. It's early around here, 7.30. <laughs> it's early for me. I usually sleep till 8 or 8.30. I have to have like nine hours of sleep. I just have to. Matt can operate with less. I slept in today. But if I don't have anything I have to be up and ready for at 8 a.m., then I'm not up. Matt just juiced. I'm not gonna juice today because it's very violent. It's been violent to me recently. It's just taking its toll on my digestive system. It's intense. A lot of, uh, a lot of juice blaming around here. Juice blaming? Blame it on the juice. <laughs> Matt says blame it on the juice like five times a day. Uh, well, many bathroom trips are definitely blamed <laughs> on my juice. <laughs> Same. I think I should do something about what's going on here. I'm just gonna do a transition. Let <laughs> me do another one. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. We're back better than ever. And I've actually put real clothes on, which is quite honestly, one of the biggest miracles of the week. I'm actually gonna work on an Instagram reel today. I have not been using Instagram reels the way that I should be. It's just, there's too much stuff between YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. It's just too much to keep up with. And it honestly kind of screws up your creativity. But I got inspired this week. Obviously, Gen Z is wreaking havoc on millennials, side parts, and skinny jeans. I actually really like changing up my fashion, so I thought I would try five or six pairs of jeans that are not skinny jeans to show you can play around with your fashion. Skinny jeans are great, you should continue wearing them. I'm wearing a pair right now. But don't be afraid of other styles, unless it's low rise. Here are the selections I've made, and then I brought down a bunch of different tops to try and maybe style them. And then I brought down a bag of shoes from upstairs because I have to haul everything from upstairs down here. Let's make some cute outfits. Now I'm trying to decide if I should shoot this on my phone or if I should shoot it on my camera. If I shoot it on my camera, it's gonna look way more professional and just crisper. If I shoot it on my phone, it feels more relatable and more native to the platform. I'm much better of an editor on my platform laptop than I am in an app. So what do I do? I guess you'll have to follow me on Instagram to find out or just continue watching this vlog. I belong, I belong to you. I have to put on some music that actually inspires me and motivates me. I actually have a Spotify playlist. I will link it down below. It's kind of like my hype girl favorite best of the best list. Fiji has a desire for me to scratch his belly. You gonna let me scratch it? Oh, okay. Is this what you want? Have you ever seen a more least loved dog? By the way, I think these are my favorite jeans from the Zara haul. These are the mom jeans. Actually, I'm kind of sad because I ripped this a lot more than it was already ripped when I was trying to put on my shoes. They're a little tight. But they're really flattering. I actually got these shoes from Forever 21. They were on sale for like $15. Thank you. They're so cute, but also so inexpensive because honestly, I love the dad shoe trend. I have a feeling it won't last for very long, so I didn't want to buy like a pair of like $200 Nikes. They're really comfortable, and when they get dirty AF, because you know, they already kind of are, I don't feel so bad. A bunch of you have already purchased these from my Instagram, so I'll link it here for my YouTube friends who need a pair of affordable knock around white sneakers. Knock around is something my grandmother used to say. Do people say knock around? I think that aged me by like 800 years. All right, the try on is over. Thank goodness my thighs are chafed from all the denim. Now I'm gonna go edit that. It'll probably take me another hour realistically to edit that and get it up on Instagram. Maybe I'll post it in the morning. I'm going to be editing a YouTube video for my channel. I tried every single flavor of wing from BW3s. That's going up soon. I have a meeting this afternoon with an agency that I'm working with on a brand campaign that I'm really excited for, mostly because I get to give money away. Best job ever. I'm jumping on a creative timeline call this afternoon for that, and then the adventures will continue. So it's tired, and now your fans are going to one star this show and mess up the ratings for this show. That's the one thing to the people that's working on this show. That's like, if this show gets canceled, Taylor, no shade, you're taking people's jobs. Made it all about Taylor, poor Taylor. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to feel the way you feel. If you felt, honestly, if you felt like they were targeting you, then by all means, sis, who am I to tell you? 
But from the outside looking in, baby, this is you using your privilege because you maybe don't like the joke. Or maybe it hits home. I am about to jump on a Zoom call. I lost track of time. I was editing up a storm. I got lost in the zone. Hashtag free Britney. Benji's clearly very stressed out as well. Excuse me, we have our meeting we're gonna be late for. I gotta find the link. I'm late, so like finding the things that I need to find at the last minute is extra difficult. <laughs> and then um, Aaron, Bree just sent over the deck. Just to make sure you um, got that via email. Every single one of my devices is always maxed out on data. So my phone like yells at me every day, my computer. I'm where tech goes to die. So I'll actually be behind the camera directing and I'll shoot the car bits a little bit later, but I'll make sure that like, obviously we'll be masked. It's eight o'clock and I have procrastinated far too long for dinner. I'd rather go to bed right now than eat, but I'm gonna be cooking a chicken enchilada recipe that is a staple in the Robinson household. Actually, the chef who invented, invented, created the recipe, I'm friends with on Instagram, and I always tag her and she's always like, you're making this again? It's just so easy and delicious and good. Delicious and good are the same thing. I have all of my ingredients here. Chicken broth, sweet corn, onion, black beans, tomato sauce, and flour tortillas. You're supposed to use low carb tortillas, but this is a carb friendly zone. So we're going all carbs. I'm also going cheese, just going big, going big. I will link this in the description below if you are curious, because everyone knows this tutorial is not gonna be that official. I'm gonna pour my chicken broth in a pot, and then I'm gonna place my chicken breast, and I'm gonna place my chicken breast in it to boil, and then I'm gonna shred my chicken and add it to all my enchilada goodness. In goes my chicken, putting this puppy on high, and while it's doing that, I'm going to prep all of my veggies. Because I'm short on time, I'm gonna add some garlic, minced garlic in a jar. Actually, it's not so bad. I like having that on hand because it makes things a lot faster when I'm in a hurry like this. So I've added my garlic and my onions. They're getting soft and fragrant and delish. And then I'm gonna start adding my other veggies. So this is the final product. Honestly, you're supposed to wrap this, put enchilada sauce on it, cheese, bake it in the oven. But I personally prefer to do it this way because this way we can eat it all throughout the week and the tortilla doesn't get soggy. Here's the finished product, it's delicious. I will link the recipe because you will enjoy it. It's a brand new day. Benji's really wanting to go outside. So I think we're gonna go outside. And today is going to be a kind of admin type of day. I normally don't have admin days this late in the week, but I have a big shoot coming up that I have to work on the breakdown for. He's bored. <laughs> Posted my reels that I shot yesterday to Instagram. Go give it a like, follow. Actually, I think this is one of my favorite ones I've done because I think it's very valuable as you see a photo of my butt. I have to do some paperwork for pet insurance because Benji cost me $500. $500. I'm sorry, just give me a minute, we'll go outside. I have three houses around my house <clears throat> that are all getting work done, work done. They're all doing construction simultaneously, which is kind of maddening. And I can't really complain about it because Matt and I are about to have our entire foundation of our house ripped up in a couple of weeks. And it's going to be treacherous, not only for us, but for everyone around us. So I kind of feel like I'm gonna be contributing to the noise, but it is really hard to shoot or get work done because someone's either screaming, drilling, sawing, Screaming, <laughs> more like just talking loudly, <laughs> not like they've hurt themselves. <laughs> now I have a plane coming through. It's literally like a war zone over here. This is, I've already eaten two of them, so the plate looks really bad, but this is a little gluten-free muffin. I think it's gluten-free. It's like a six ingredient muffin that I like to just do all the time. Actually, someone at Clever recommended the recipe and I've tried it and I've never looked back. They're so easy to make and you just pop them in the oven. Pray for me. So I'm having some breakfast. Comments here on comments. I'm having some coffee. I'm feeling really good about things, other than the fact that all this noise is happening. Benji's coming, asking me to go play. What? You, I, you don't have to do this. I will, I will do it for you, I promise. We'll go right now, okay, yes. I know everybody loves their dogs and I'm gonna show too much for my dog, I know it. He's got too much personality. He's like a person. He's a character in the movie about my life. <laughs> So 
I've been editing all day and I decided to pour myself a glass of, wait for it, not wine. This is Welch's sparkling grape juice because I'm secretly a seven year old. I actually made a decision this year to cut back on my alcohol consumption. Obviously you guys know I'm trying to get pregnant, but I also just kind of felt like one, when I drink, I usually feel really sick the next day, almost immediately with some types of alcohol. Even though I love making cocktails, and I love a glass of wine. It was just getting to the point where I was drinking a lot more than I typically would. Thank you, quarantine. And then I wasn't feeling good. I was like sick feeling all the time and it just is not the most productive state of being. Also, I do feel like our culture like pushes alcohol on us as if to tell us if we're not drinking, like it's not cool. And not even like drinking, but like overconsumption. And if you like to drink, it's totally fine. Like whatever. And I and I love a cocktail, don't get me wrong. But I do think this idea of like drinking until you're wasted is the cool thing to do, is like the wrong messaging. That was a really long conversation about alcohol that no one asked for. I will be drinking on this channel, I do still drink. I just think the overconsumption of it all is something I'm trying to move past this year. Call me out though, if you see me drinking too much, let me know. Proud to, I think it's like in LA, it's like proud to have made it in LA. I've already edited most of this vlog and you're not in any of it except for like the beginning where you make a joke about juice. <laughs> I'm here to end the day, begin it and to end it. I'm just, I'm just like the bookends of your life, honey. Like I come in the middle too, I come in for lunch. Yeah, if you follow me on my main channel, you'll see Matt joins in. He dabbles. Here's the behind the scenes truth. She films her food videos in this kitchen during lunchtime. That's not behind the scenes, that's in front of the scenes. Little known fact. <laughs> <laughs> Literally She's, the scenes. That is the scenes. She does it that way on purpose. And then she says, I only come down to eat her food. No, I do not do it that way on purpose. Her girl. Purpose. You didn't come down for the honey mustard video. Yeah, I had to work on the late lunch. <laughs> <laughs> He's selective about the videos he partakes in. By the way, we're eating enchiladas all week. We make our food on Sunday and then we basically eat it all week That's long. Right. We are on a budget because we are getting our foundation replaced. That only costs, you know, like $50,000. All of our money, just all of it. Yeah, my, my boss at my law firm once told me, oh, you buy a house at the money pit. We're actually about to spend $50,000 for them to dig a hole underneath our house. That is a, by definition, a money pit. It's good for our safety and the safety of the future people who will live in our house. We wanna make sure this place is nice and well taken care of for them. A firm foundation. A firm foundation. For the generations to come. We are playing a part in creating a better future for the tenants of this house. We're not moving yet, but. We won't be here forever, so we're looking out for the future peeps. Confetti cannon. This is supposed to be for a reveal for the shoot that I'm on. I want to reveal like a surprise. First of all, it's not a firework. It will not set anything on fire. Number two, all the pieces are biodegradable. But I want to test it to see how loud, how big, how far it goes. So. I already see a problem because it has a logo on it. And I don't think I can have this as part of a branded campaign. I'm gonna take this out and test it. I wonder if I should tell Matt. Let's give it a shot. Ow. Oh my God. Oh no, it went everywhere. Oh my neighbors are gonna kill me. That's what they get for being so loud. Oh my gosh, my neighbors are gonna be so mad. Oh no, what do I do? Oh no. <laughs> I did a bad thing. You're gonna be mad. So I tested out the confetti cannon because you know I think I'm gonna have to do it inside. Oh, no. And then it's everywhere. Hey. I know, and then it, the wind took it. It's outside? Yeah. It's biodegradable. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. But it's paper. it's paper, it's tissue paper, so it's not like glitter. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and fix this. Let's see if I can do it quickly before anybody knows I was the one who did it in the first place.
That's futile. That is not gonna work. I think we're just gonna have to wait until they demo the entire foundation, which our whole house is gonna be covered in dirt anyway. I think it's gonna be fine. But you were in trouble. I'm in trouble. This is gonna be the last day of the vlog. I feel like I just keep vlogging and vlogging and it never stops. So today is gonna be it for this week. I'm upstairs touching up my hair and makeup for a shoot that I'm doing for my main channel right now. It is Saturday. Today I'm gonna be shooting a trying every single DiGiorno pizza video for my main channel. I'm so out of breath from just walking up the stairs. So I'm just touching up my makeup because I just went to the grocery store and had to wear a mask. I broke one of my biggest food cardinal rules, food taste testing cardinal rules. That is to eat a big meal before a taste testing video. I usually intermittent fast before one of these videos because I end up eating a lot of food and a lot of food with a lot of different seasonings and flavors and it's just very intense when I shoot these videos. So I try and balance it by like not really eating much ahead of time. Today, Matt and I ordered breakfast from one of my favorite burrito places in Los Angeles. It's called the rooster and I feel like I'm going to explode. I'm so uncomfortably full. You know, one body can only contain so much stuff until you know you have to take trips else to other lands. Matt's here too. He's here. He's doing taxes. This is bookkeeping. Bookkeeping. Yeah, I was close. I was close. Make sure the books are good. Once the books are good, then we can file the corporate tax return. Just keep hearing, when the books are good, the rest that's don't that's matter. That's the bones are good. Well, thank you, pop culture expert. I know, I was just <laughs> being funny, okay? <laughs> I started cooking all of my DiGiorno crispy pan pizzas. So my next step is to get B-roll of all of the packaging and all the boxes so that I can have it on screen when I'm talking to you guys about it. I ended up getting so many pizzas. I've actually never tried the garlic bread pizza, so I'm excited to try that today. I have my pizza model here showing up for his job. On time today, I might add. I'm always on time. Mm. <laughs> Especially for pizza. All right, I think that this has to be the thing that is the incentive. This looks pretty good. I just shot all the B-roll for this, cut some slices to see how delicious the cheese looks on the inside. I have one more in the oven cooking, and we're about to film. Where are you filming? I think I might get a little, get a little, little social video going. A little social yeah. video? Look at you. Like, I, I don't post on social media. I'm a ghost on there, but. You should go follow him. He has like, 12,000 followers, 11,000 followers. Uh, you could follow me and every like six months you might get a post. <laughs> so we're about to start shooting. It's not happening for you. No, 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 no. The poop catastrophe that would follow this, you eating this. Matt's on camera duty. Don't mind my, our dirty kitchen. It's gonna get me pulling out the pizza. You get I that hope. pizza, go get it. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Don't get our dirty oven though. You have to shoot around that. Ready? Mm. Matt is asking me <clears throat> for us to pause. Can we get a stop down? I've had too many pieces of pizza. So we've just had a lot. This is the true BTS of the food video ranking. It's, you eat so much food. If you're watching these videos, you think, oh, I could do that. I can have like one bite of every single thing. That's not a lot. It is a lot. I'm here to say, as a 220 pound man, it is a lot. I usually have a whole process so that I don't make myself sick. I am <laughs> gonna hit a max at some point. I'm just going to completely pass out on the couch somewhere and wake up hours later. Yeah, and we're gonna have to, I, actually my production assistant, Jen, you guys will meet her on this channel, I'm sure. She's currently pregnant. I'm thinking about packaging some of this up and like delivering it to her and her husband or something. Most of these videos, I usually, we can put it in the fridge and like eat on it for a week or two. I just don't know if we can do that with pizza. We have 12 pizzas. 12 it's a lot of pizzas. pizza for two people. So we're gonna jump back in. I gave Matt like this break, which I'm, wasn't really I need a, a break. I quick stop down. I can't perform in these conditions. Right, the artiste must have the perfect conditions to perform their art. Matt is 
clearly the artiste in his pizza shirt. That's right, this is, you can tell. Matt and I are so full. We're mildly miserable. We've just eaten so much pizza today. It was all delicious. I loved every single moment of it, but at some point you, you reach maximum capacity. Matt wanted to sit and watch basketball, which I fully support, but I think both of us need to move our bodies a little bit. So we're gonna go on a little walk, take Benji out and about in the neighborhood, get some fresh air, get some blood pumping to digest all of this food. <laughs> Yeah.